the excitement, and the game is complete. The mission has been accomplished, and ECU winning the Ticket Smarter Birmingham Bowl, their first bowl game win since 2013. What a, what a great night for Pirate Nation. Just uh, so excited for our players, uh, excited for our fans, excited for our institution. You know, this is this has been the goal since we got here to get uh, get ECU back to winning bowl games, and so uh, tonight's a very significant achievement for a lot of people. Well, I think you know, after four years uh, in Greenville and at East Carolina University, um, it has been everything that I had hoped it would be uh, when I took the job. I had heard about you know the, the passion of our fan base and what a, just an incredible football community Greenville was. I think the pleasant surprise for Amanda and the boys and I has been what a great place to raise a family it, it has been uh, and still is. Um, we have incredible friends here, uh, great families that have meant so much to my family and, and poured into our in our lives. So I just think, you know, this move for me professionally and probably more importantly uh, for our family, period, um, ha has been the best move that we have had. And I really felt felt like our family has flourished here. And so, um, you know, we feel uh, very heavily connected to our community and to the city of Greenville. We are a hard-nosed, physical, relentless bunch. We play with aggression. We play with fire and intensity. I don't care if you're talking about pass blocking or run blocking or how we play as ball carriers or how we cover kicks or how we play the run or how we get after the passer. Okay, we do it with a passion and aggression and physicality that is special. And we do it together. We do that right there. We're going to be a damn good football team this year. I promise you. Some of my goals this past offseason is just um, working on my fundamentals get my body prepared to have a long season and be more involved in the offense and just, you know, doing everything I can to put my body in the best shape for this coming season. Um, playing with Ryan has been, you know, it's been great for me. Both of us kind of played off each other the last couple of years, and, you know, with his departure, it's kind of given me the opportunity to step up into that role and, you know, mentor the younger guys. So I'm taking pride in that and, you know, I'm teaching them everything I can. And, you know, if I can set a good example for them, then I think the program's in a good place. Uh, Team-wise, I would say just, as a whole, filling in the spots that, you know, we're vacant from this last season. You know, a lot of people are expecting us to, you know, lose a couple of steps because, you know, guys have left. But, you know, it's time for guys, other guys to step up and just step into that role that, you know, they can be a force in this offseason and, you know, in the scene. Well, I think, you know, when you look at the guys that uh, graduated, the guys that declared for the draft, you know, obviously we lost a tremendous amount of talent. Uh, we also lost a tremendous amount of experience. You know, I, I think that we have talent. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe a little bit different, okay? There may be di different shapes and sizes, uh, but we have guys with a lot of ability. Uh, you know, the key thing is trying to, you know, gain experience for them as quickly as possible. You know, you can't, uh, as something you can't give them. Uh, the only way to learn is by going through it yourself. And so that'll be a, a key piece to, uh, you know, the first part of our season this fall. It's been a key piece to our off season from a standpoint of, you know, we did things differently during preseason camp this year to try to put them in as many situations as we could that were game-like situations uh, so that uh, you know they, they at least got to experience it on the practice field uh, as much as possible during the preseason. We got one of the best strength coaches in the, in the nation, Big John, really gets us prepared in, during the offseason. You know, he takes us, takes us to another level. He makes sure we're ready to condition him. You know, we're ready to play, you know, take no plays off. And so, you know, it really helps us as a defense. You know, it builds us, it molds us to be the best defense in the nation, and that's what we preach. So, you know, having guys out there that are just fast, physical, tough, mentally ready to compete, you know, he really, he really molds that into us, and, you know, it helps us on the defensive side of the ball as well. You know, me being here for a couple years, I've seen throughout the locker room that the relationships throughout the team hasn't always been, you know, good. But now this team, we're really a true brotherhood, a true family. Even in, even in my position room now, like, I feel closer to the guys than I've ever felt, you know, to a position room. So, like, those guys are my brothers, and, you know, it makes you play to another level because you don't want to let those guys down. You know, our, our culture is to the point now where it is self-driven. And what I mean by that is I'm not the one that has to stand up there and kind of lead everything culture-wise. Uh, we have a nucleus of players that came in, you know, primarily in the 2020 class. You know, you, you had, uh, you know, Jeremy Lewis 
who was with us the year before in 2019, but you have a strong nucleus of guys right there that, you know, they protect the culture. You know, they not only understand what it, uh, what we want it to be, uh, they believe in it and, you know, they protect it. And so, and that, that's the way you want the program. I think it's really important to develop, you know, relationships in your position room and your team, you know. I think when people have a greater connection with you, then you know they'll play harder for each other. So Coach Houston has developed um, a locker room and a team culture where if you don't come to work every day, then someone's going to take your spot. He, you know, he's really attention to detail when it comes to little things, and that's what makes us as a team great. You know, Coach Houston is a person that is really intense at times, but you know it's it's definitely necessary for us to be a, you know a great team. The competition brings out the best in each other. So if you know if we have a great competition as a team, offense, defense, then you know at the end of the day. Each and all of us are getting better as a whole. Uh, when, it, when it's to the point that the, the players are the ones that are driving the culture, uh, then you know that it's a very healthy situation. And I'm, I'm really proud of, you know, I'm proud of all of our guys that, uh, you know, were with us in 2019, uh, that we had to weather, you know, the storms to, to, to a certain degree. I'm very proud of our guys that came in in the 2020 class uh, that worked so hard together. Uh, with those guys to, to, to build what we have. And so uh, as we sit here today, you know, our, our culture is very healthy and I'm very, very excited about it. I think a lot of things that affect during that is one of the biggest ones is recruiting. You know, you got to recruit players that fit that brotherhood and fit that fit fit that program. You know, so coach has done a good job recruiting people that come on and buy into the program. You know, guys that are willing to win. You know, we went and got Jack Powers out of the uh, transfer portal, and he was immediately a, a key impact to this program. So you know, that's like my brother. So you know, guys like that. You know, being able to recruit guys that can fit into a program. You know, mold together to the brotherhood. That's a that's a big part, a big emphasis on it. Thanks for being here. I wanted to take uh, a few minutes to uh, talk about some things that are going on in the athletic department. Our athletic department overall and the football program overall um, has really done a 180. And it's not just football, it's the whole athletic department. You know, when we, when we got here, you know, I really feel like East Carolina University was, you know, not unified. I think there was a lot of division within our fan base. I think there was division within our university. And I think there was division within our athletic department. And uh, I think it's a credit to Chancellor Rogers. And I think it is a huge credit to John Gilbert. The work that has been done to unify our university and unify our athletic department, it, is, it has in turn unified our fan base to where, you know, as you sit here today, I do feel like there is tremendous alignment within this institution from the academic side to the athletic side, top to bottom. And I, f I feel like, you know, the fans are back and it's the way, it kind of goes back to what I was talking about a while ago, it is the way you envisioned uh, it could be uh, when you first came here in 2019. Being a local guy, you know, I'm really noticing that we just been trending, trending up with lately. You know, things haven't always been smooth, but it's glad to see, you know, that Pirate fan base back. First game of the season last year, it was so real, like it was unreal. The fans showed out 50,000, you know, and it wasn't always like that, you know. So having that having that support behind our fan base, you know, it's good to see that we're getting back in the mix. Coach Houston has changed a lot of things around this campus, and you know, ever since he stepped foot on campus, he really improved this program, you know, from three wins being the norm to now we're trying to compete for a conference championship. So, you know, he's been able to come in, you know, change the locker room around, change the football team around, you know, and it's 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 all him. You gotta give him credit, you gotta give him his props. You know, it just it didn't happen overnight. It took some time, but you can see like every year it's a steady increase in what he did to this program. So, you know, building a brotherhood, building a locker room that wasn't always here, you know, that's really that's really him. The community in Greenville has, you know, came together and really supported us more and more each year. I think after last year coming off, you know, another bowl win and just, you know, just seeing the support, especially after the NC State game, just how we broke the season the tennis record, you know. Every year under Coach Houston is going to be bigger and better things. Administration has really bought into the football program and realized that, like, we're a big part of this university. I mean, it's a football town, so, you know, they found a way to really buy into the football program and make sure we're successful and make sure we have the things that we need. Over the last couple of years, college football has kind of changed a little bit. You know, it's, it's bringing more of an attention to the community surrounding the different teams that kind of, you know, come forward and help support our student athletes. I don't think that, I don't think any of us could have envisioned four years ago what was going to happen, you know, with the college football landscape. Just about everything that was not allowed four years ago is now allowed, and it's really turned everything upside down. And I think that's, 
the key to it is our ability to evolve and adapt uh, to the ever-changing uh, environment of college athletics. It has changed the way you recruit. It's going to continue to change and evolve in the coming years. Uh, I think the important thing is for us to keep a focus on East Carolina University and making sure we position our football program and our athletic department uh, to be in the best possible situation so that we can all thrive. It's a good group to be around and just they, they're enjoyable. Um, any day you can come to the building and you enjoy being around that group of, group of guys, group of young men, group of kids, uh, that's a good day. But on the field, they go about their business and they go to work. Defensively this year, I think we're tremendous up front. You know, we're bringing back a good forefront, guys with a lot of experience, with a lot of plays under their belt. And I think we have a great depth in the linebacker position. You know, guys, I, I love our linebackers. They're just, I think we probably got the smartest linebacker group since, the year, since I've been here. I think the mindset that we have in the locker room makes it easy to play out there on the field. Like, everybody wants to win. So you do whatever it takes to go out there and win. You don't go out there, you don't play slow, you don't play hesitant, you don't play passive. You give 100%, you give effort every single day. And that's what the staff is demanding of you, but that's automatically what we want to bring as well. So, you know, just having those guys in your corner on top to keep reminding you constantly of your end goal, it makes it easy for you to go out there and just play ball. Coach Harrell's style and his philosophy of defense is simple, it's fast and physical, you know. Fast, physical, toughness, that's just what we do, that's what we preach, you know, getting the ball out, getting to the ball, retracing, taking the ball, turnovers. And that's just, that's just what we want to be. We want to be a fast, physical defense, be the best defense in the nation. You know, excited about the opportunity. I was respectful, respect our opponents and respect the old line and uh, the offense and who they are and what they've been able to accomplish. Uh, they're excited to go play against some, you know, the best in the nation. So just see where they're at. Coming into week one, we know um, Michigan's a great team. They're returning a lot of starters, a lot of good players. But, you know, I think as a team, we're more focused on us, what we have to do to go up there and, you know, have a successful day. Um, when it comes to our preparation, we take you know each and every game the same way. We're gonna come in and work just as hard, and it doesn't really matter who we're playing. We're gonna come and you know have the same mindset each and every day. Very excited for the season to finally be here. It's been a long off season for me, most definitely, and I'm just ready to bounce back, show the world what I'm capable of, and show the world what this team is capable of. Go out there and shock the world. I know many people are doubting us, but we love to doubt. It happens every year, and you know we always underdogs, and we love that. So. There's nothing, nothing, nothing to lose, just a lot to gain, but I'm ready to go out there and play ball. I mean, it feels, you know, zero to 60 kind of deal. Once you kick off uh, in Ann Arbor at 12 o'clock, you know, from that kickoff until after the bowl game, uh, it is complete and utter chaos. You know, you're racing to prepare each and every week for what's in front of you and adjusting to, you know, all the things that pop up that, uh, you know, were not anticipated or were not, uh, you know, part of the plan. Uh, and it's what makes college football so exciting. Uh, it's no different than game day itself. Once you kick off on game day, you know, your game plans then have to turn, you know, into adapting to, you know, the situations in the game and applying them to what comes up. And so uh, it, it, it keeps, you, keeps you on your toes and keeps you energized. And, uh, you, know, it, it really, you know, it really is what we live for. So, you know, getting ready for an exciting four months is uh, what we work year round for.